I just commend the, um, the action, the effort, the energy, the determination of that small band of individuals that keep pestering me in my office uh, for information and for action. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, my purpose this afternoon here is not to be critical of individuals. Though I would imagine it would be easy to be critical of some individuals associated with the process so far. My purpose this afternoon is not to make the relationship between ACU and the community any more difficult than it is, but it's hard to imagine that that could be the case. My reason for being here this afternoon, twofold. One is to bring you up to date what's actually happened within uh, the government in terms of looking at this particular issue but also perhaps to explain my personal position on this and how it's shifted over the last uh, few weeks. And then after that, I'm more than happy to stand here amongst my brothers in arms and have a photo panel on the new door for an army officer. I love that sort of talk. Um, to answer questions uh, regarding the proposal. Can I just say to begin with that, um, unfortunately, the process that we're engaged, with, engaged in some time ago became a legal process. Uh, it became evident to me when I saw a meeting with other people within the ACU establishment that they were taking legal advice. So rather than actually being engaged with the community, rather than being consulted with, they were acting on lawyers' instructions. Now when that happens, I can always assure you that communication stops. But sometimes issues of technical, of, of legal technicalities take precedence over morality and fairness and equity. It's unfortunate, but that's the process that we find ourselves in right now, and I have reacted to being in that process. Um, my position has shifted significantly because I tried to engage in a dialogue with ACU to talk about my specific concerns given what I know. I don't profess to be an environmental expert. I don't profess to actually live in the area and know the intricacies or the intimacies of some of the problems that the residents have. But I do have some background which makes me an expert in certain matters associated with transport, infrastructure, traffic, congestion, uh, local amenity and the like. On that basis, um, I was refused uh, an audience with people in the uh, university that I thought would make themselves available for me to explain my position on those matters. And on that basis, as you know, I've been in the press lately. At one stage I had, uh, I didn't support the proposal on its current form, and to be quite frank with you, given what's happened over the last two or three weeks, I absolutely totally object to the proposal in its entirety. And the reason I say that... <laughs> and the reason I say that is because ACU have got to go back to square one. Yeah. That's yeah. 